Frequent train travelers should know that if a train track breaks, the consequences could be unimaginable. So how do you repair it in remote areas without electricity? By the end, I finally understood the saying from my teacher that mastering math, physics, and chemistry makes you fearless anywhere in the world. The workers first used a rail cutting machine to cut the broken section and smooth the break to facilitate subsequent operations. After cutting, they brought a new rail and used a crowbar to position it upright on the sleepers. With the combined effort of several workers, they moved it into the clips and used tools to measure if the gap between the two rail ends met the requirements, then used a special steel claw to clear the gravel below. At this point, the installation of the rail is complete. Next, the worker takes out a specially shaped high temperature resistant mold, which can withstand temperatures of over 3000 degrees Celsius. This is a crucial component in rail welding. Meanwhile, another worker is preparing heat resistant sand for sealing and uses a steel ruler to confirm once more that the two rails are level. Once all the preliminary preparations are complete, the two welding sand molds are nested on either side of the rail gap and secured tightly, forming a hole that completely encloses the gap. All the spaces surrounding the mold are meticulously sealed with the specially formulated heat-resistant sand slurry. This step is absolutely essential for the subsequent welding process, so it must be executed with great precision and care. Now, can anyone guess what type of welding this might be? Next comes the skilled demonstration by the master craftsman. Two individuals collaborate to bring in a fuel heating apparatus, and the black pipe attached to the machine is connected to the mold. At this juncture, another worker pours a bag of black material into an iron pot and moves it back and forth between two pots. The goal is to fully blend this mix. This dry season component includes aluminum oxide powder, iron powder, and alloy. After mixing with 81 stirs, it's poured into a specially designed high temp resistant furnace, sealed with a lid, and taken to the repair site. Now, the master on the mold side inserts a torch into the mold and adjusts the flame to max. The aim is to preheat the junctions of the two rail sections and the mold's interior, partly to prevent the mold from cracking due to the sudden high temperature during welding. On the other hand, it is also necessary to provide heat energy for the subsequent welding. After a period of high temperature baking, the prerequisite for welding is quickly met, the blowtorch is removed, and the furnace filled with welding agent is swiftly placed on the mold. By removing the baffle at the bottom of the furnace, the welding gas instantly falls into the scorching mold due to gravity, quickly reacting and producing thick smoke as flames rise. Using this method, even in outdoor conditions where electrical appliances cannot be used, the chemical energy generated can weld such heavy rails. It must be said, this is truly impressive. As the intense reaction gradually subsides and the furnace slowly extinguishes, the welding of this rail is nearing completion. At this point, the furnace is removed and tools are brought in to unveil and inspect the welding results. The workers first clean the mold's outer shell and the sealing clay. Use this hydraulic machine to trim the excess part from above, and you can see the welding area still sparking. At such high temperatures, the well points have likely fused together. As the saying goes, giving a like shows diligence, not giving a like is just being normal. I believe that having read this far, you wouldn't be stingy with a free sponsorship for such hardworking people. Your support is also the motivation for us to continue creating, and we are extremely grateful for it. Then, use tools to clean off the excess parts from the weld area. But that's not enough. We still need a grinder to smooth the welds to ensure the train runs smoothly. With that, this track repair is done. After watching, do you know what type of welding this is? Do you think this method is strong? If you like this video, remember to bookmark and follow for more creative projects shared daily. See you in the next episode.